Hi, Floss Tan friends. How are you? I've missed you. Come on in. Come on in. Ooh, we have cookies. Russian tea cake cookies. Ooh, and I have molasses cookies and all kinds of cookies. So uh, coffee and cappuccino and tea, everything. So come on in. Today is December 23rd. This is my calendar this year. And I get to open number 23 today. We each got one this year. So it's really fun. After dinner, we open our... Um, advent calendar. So it's kind of a, a treat, a neat thing to do. Okay. So let's see. How are you? I have cinnamon rolls rising right over there. I can just kind of smell the yeasty dough. Um, we're giving uh, cinnamon rolls to all the neighbors tonight. So they'll get uh, four cinnamon rolls and then shots of frosting to put on themselves. So I hope that'll make everybody happy in the neighborhood. <laughs> Ooh, we're home from a beach vacation. So the month went super fast because we took a week and went to the beach and uh, smelled the fresh air and walked on the beach. And we actually, we had sunshine and, and it was wonderful. It was so relaxing and nice. And uh, so it took a, a bite out of that, uh, the month of kind of insan insanity. So. Anyway, okay, so I have a, a couple things to begin with, and then I thought I could do some um, a review of some old Christmas things. I thought that might be a kind of a cool thing. I know, I'm trying to remember to look at the right camera. So, okay, first of all, I have a Christmas idea or maybe a, um, a New Year's gift for your dog or your cat. Okay, so you buy these mats, you get them on Amazon. It has the suction cups on the back so you suction onto the floor but you can um put paste it with peanut butter baby food you know um liver chicken beef whatever you can find um, maybe some pumpkin or um, yogurt and you put that on the floor and it bought me 30 minutes of study time yesterday so i was super happy it worked great she didn't tug it off the floor so um anyway that might be a, a i don't I don't think you can get it by Christmas time, but maybe a New Year's gift. That would be fun. That would be a good thing. Okay. Uh, let's see. What else? What else? It's so icy here today. Everything is just covered in a, a layer of ice. So I know it's dangerous, but it's so pretty. Ooh, it's so pretty. Okay. So let's get started. We'll start with some, all my old or previous. Previous sounds better than old. I found this, had this hanging this, this year. It's a little, um, a little mat, a little hanging, a little hanging wall, wall hanging. And, um, or you can put the tags down and lay it down. I made 20 of these one year to give as gifts to my church friends and neighbor friends and my family. And I think one is cute. I think 20 made me crazy. So anyway, it's kind of fun to look at old ornaments when you, or, uh, decorations when you get them out. That's kind of a neat thing. Okay, so let's see some cross-stitch things. Um, I grabbed these from Mr. Wright's Santa collection. I made these a couple years ago. I think 2020. Oh, yeah, I put that right on the bottom. That was a, that was smart. Um, okay, so it was it's just plain red linen. And then you stitch. They have jingle bells on the top of their heads. And then you just stitch the face the bottom and the belt onto the red here. Okay, sorry. Onto the red fabric or linen. And it turns out to be this Santa that stands up. So, and then they all stand up in his collection and kind of a fun thing. Ooh, there's my nail polish. Sugar fairy. <laughs> that was a fun one for, for the holidays. All right, what else do we have? Letters to Santa, Brenda Gervais. Okay, here's this one. Let's be honest. I I love stitching it. I love the picture of it. I just, I don't like displaying it anymore. I you have a pocket in the back. And the way I made this, I'll show you. I made it like a pillowcase so that you could take the pillow form out. And then you would just have this one piece. You could fold it in half have this one piece to store when you when you put away all of your Christmas decorations. I, I don't know. I'm loving it this size. I'm thinking I might take this apart and um, I, I don't know. I maybe want to frame it. Maybe make a little pillow. This pillow is kind of big and unless I hide something behind it. I don't know. 
I, I'm still thinking. If you have any suggestions, that would be great. But anyway, that's how I do it. I have, that's how I store it so that it can be stored without getting all crunched up and mushed up. All right, what's next on our list? Our next thing is Merry Christmas. And this one is a Blackbird design. I think you can see it there. Um, I, let me get my card. I stitched it in 2021 on 32 count linen. Tag that. I framed it myself with a clearance frame that I got. Uh, Pictureframes.com, I think. And um, it was in the clearance section. And I just thought, okay, I'll go with it. It has a little gold a little gold fillet and then the the white kind of the rustic looking white so it kind of I, I set it with my snowman and all that decorations because it's white and a bit of pink that's kind of neat I kind of like to do a I would like to do a, a quilt with pinks and limey greens and I, I need to find something like that that might be a fun thing to do for you know a, th a Christmas throw to throw over your um, your sofa or a chair or you know I want to do that okay uh prairie schooler we have a Santa with hockey skates. I think this one also had ice skates, but I didn't stitch those. Um, this is, was for Mr. Wright. He's a hockey fan. He played his whole life growing up in Quebec. Um, I stitched this in 2020 or 2009, and then I finally um, finished it and put it in a, a little a little frame, just a wooden frame. A little ribbon on it. I don't know. This one's kind of classic prairie schooler. Really fun. I took a picture of it with his ice skates and put it on Instagram. So that was kind of a fun thing to do. Okay. Santa on a box. All right. This one didn't turn out the way I had envisioned it. And I just haven't ever taken it apart. Oh, I know what's in here, though. I want to take this out. Uh-oh. Oh, that didn't work out so good. Ooh. I don't really know how to um, edit. Do I want to start over? I've been in it seven minutes. Maybe I can just kind of straighten it out and we'll just keep going. <laughs> Sorry about that. Ooh, that wasn't so good. Okay, so Santa on a box. I think this is the Brenda Gervais one. And so I got a box, I painted it, I put felt on the bottom and, um, and then I put it on an oval and then I made this outside ribbon this ribbon is just a piece of fabric and I just took a fork I laid the fabric in it was folded in half laid it on my sewing machine and then I just turned the fork each time I, I kept sewing and so that's how I got that ruffle the exact size of a fork uh, then I put a little trim around it it's it's a cute one but I don't care for the design so I kind of hide it in the back of Mr. Wright Santa's collection. I don't know. We store Santa's in it. Sometimes I just have to let it go. I don't know. I don't know why I'm so critical of things. Okay. What else do I have? Uh, oh, I have a freebie from Sherry, the Colorado cross stitcher. She made, she uh, designed this Oh What Fun. Um, and I just backed it with some homespun, a little jingle bell. I tell you, this has been so great. I've put it uh, I took, I put it in the Christmas tree. I've had it with cookies. I've set it with, um, a display on the table for dinner. I've tucked it in a couple little places. It really is a cute one. Super quick. Oh, I put that 2022 little charm on the back. Um, I think it took me one evening to stitch. And then she has another one that has multicolors so that you could do for happy new year or a birthday. And it's just, it's really clever. It's cute. Thanks, Sherry. Mwah. She's a wonderful, wonderful part of our community. She always has such great inspiration and ideas, and she shares so many great things. So, And she has a shop, so you can order things from her, and she sends it out lickety-split. So that's kind of a nice thing. Uh, oh, this one. Ooh. You know what? I love this one. In a certain, I'm starting to love it. Oops, there we go. Let's get the glare off of it. Uh, I will honor Christmas in my heart and try to keep it all year. Okay, this is the one. You all know I was stitching it on an airplane. And the man next to me said, you know, the green's not the right color green for your trees. I didn't know what to say. So I said, thank you. 
he was a stink bug. Don't be a stink bug. Be a lightning bug. Wow, that's a lot of stitching. <laughs> you don't have to say anything if you don't want to. Anyway, it's that teal color. I thought it was being very hip and I don't know. I loved it. It was the first one I ever did that had beads in it. And so I thought it was fancy. I really liked it. This one hangs up in our house uh, for Christmas. It's, it's really pretty. I really loved it. And I can't forget the stink bug. I don't know why. Gotta let it go. Let it go, people. Let it go. Ooh, this one. Christmas rose. Ooh, I love this one. Okay, so... Oh, actually, that's not a bad color of the fabric. This is uh, called Tumbleweed. 32 count Tumbleweed. I don't know who it's from. I did it in 2021. Christmas rose. Blackbird design. I, there you go. You can kind of see some of them are a little bit faded into the fabric. There's your alphabet. Oh, I love this one. I love those red cardinals on it. And I don't know why I put it in the silvery Christmassy frame, but I, I just love it. It's so nice. Yeah, I framed this one. I use wrapping paper on the back. <laughs> oh, that fabric is beautiful. Oh, I love that fabric. Love it. Um, oh, the Christmas ornaments that I did for Mr. Wright's birthday. I finished them. I tried three or four or five different ribbons and it ended up, I chose black because I did the little black beads. Hold on. The little black beads on the side and the trim just really tailored. And then I just did a black ribbon and I, I tried red. I tried plaid. I tried, oh, I tried, I wanted to do velvet, but it ended up not looking so great. Um, and I finished with a little, the charm on the back. Both of them have the flannel on the back and um, they turned out really sweet. So those are for his birthday. When we were, when we were at the ocean, I got to give out some birthday presents. So that was kind of good. My hair kind of looks red. I, I, I don't know why. That's weird. I don't have red hair. Oh, okay. Um, Santa on a bike. This is that uh, Avery stitches. Oh, I can't remember. Um, but I tied uh, a little string on the back. You can take it off. I just wrap it around these two buttons that are on the back. It's a really cute way to, you can um, take it off really easily to put in a dough bowl, uh, a little display, or hang it on your Christmas tree. So a little Santa. And Mr. Wright is a Santa collector. I think I put that picture, I put the picture of some of his Santas on my Instagram too. Um, oh, and then we have the star. I think this is Shepherd's Bush. Yes, Shepherd's Bush. And this is 10 count lamb's wool in Heatherfield. And I think I stitched this in 1996 or so, but I didn't frame it until last year. I had, a, I bought a frame. <laughs> I kept track of it. The frame was $4.99. Why, why would I keep that? That's funny. <laughs> I feel pretty saucy that I got something for $4.49. So there you go. <laughs> anyway, um, I have this sitting on a, a little uh, pedestal by my nativity set. So, or one of the nativity sets. So there you go. Well, that was a 13 minute holiday parade that you didn't have to wear a hat and gloves and mitts and mittens and boots. So <laughs> that was fun. Okay. Let's talk about some works in progress. Um, oh wait, I have one more. Of course I do. You know I have one more. I forgot about it. The Noel sampler. Of course I do. Isn't she pretty? And you can see the letters if I get a little closer. They kind of faded in there. This was, um, this is Brenda Gervais uh, Noel sampler and it's 32 count linen. And this was uh, packaged by Country Stitches in Wisconsin. And they did the, the conversion of the threads and they did, did they do the fabric? Is the fabric Confederate gray? I don't remember. Sorry. Um, oh, I love stitching this one. This was really fun. This was nice. This is a good one. And actually this one stays out all year long um, with a lot of my samplers, kind of higher at the top. So you can just really see the, the red house and um, you don't necessarily notice the Noel. And so I, I just keep this one out. Hey, speaking of which, all of my samplers or all of my uh, framed pieces of cross stitch 
I keep, I, um, I keep them in my closet and I open one of the things, I push back all the clothes and there's nails on the wall. And then I hang my samplers in there so they don't get dusty. Uh, they don't get dinged up. I don't have to wrap them up to put them away. And so that's where all of my stitching pieces go uh, when it's not Christmas time, except this one. This one does stay out, but uh, the rest of them all, not the ornaments, those all get packed up. But the rest of the um, frame pieces all get put there. They get hung up. Then I put all the clothes back the way they were and you never see them. So anyway, that might be an idea for storage for you if you're kind of running out of storage. That's kind of always a problem. I feel kind of, I don't know why I'm kind of jittery. It's kind of weird. It's very quiet here. Nobody's driving. Nobody's doing anything because it's so icy. And I'm just sitting here making a video. A happy Hanukkah, happy Merry Christmas video. All right, so I am working on Cathart Calhoun 1785 by Shakespeare's Peddler. And I just wasn't in the mood to do lots of Christmas stitching this year. I, I really don't know why. But this one kind of fit the bill because there's lots of green and reds. Oh, here, I'll hold it back. You can see I kind of got the border. I got the border all around. And now I'm just filling in. Uh, there's some specialty stitches on this one. Um, there's a four-sided stitch. There's a eyelet stitch. I can't remember all the rest of them. Uh, I have the one part of the border around, but who this border, it, it's just really, um, detailed. I mean, I mean, it's worth it. It's beautiful. Look at look here. Here we go. We can go a little closer. Um, it's, it's beautiful. So I have the basic around it and then I can just add the other things, uh, the flowers as I go. But this whole band and then once this band i think i just have one more or two more things on that the rest is the alphabet so um it's been a pleasure to stitch and the colors are so beautiful but it kind of worked out perfect for me to stitch this uh this month because of the red and the green and i just wasn't into stitching oh now the next one i show you will be santa for mr right next year and you're like what is she talking about she's stitching santa so all right, this one is called um, Santa Button Sampler by Purely Samplers uh, Homespun Elegance. Okay, that's what it looks like. And it has a lot of, it has four, one button in each corner and it has a lot of stitching to kind of divide it up into little sections. And I haven't done the divide it up part yet. I kind of like it plain. So I think I'm going to, uh, I mean, I will finish the letters and then the vine at the top at the bottom. And I might just make this into a pillow or frame it, which without whatever, but um, I haven't quite decided. It's kind of a charming little piece. Uh, I ordered the, the fuzzy um, for his beard. So uh, floss, so it hasn't, hasn't arrived yet. I doubt it'll arrive today in the ice and snow. Um, Anyway, so I, I got that, and then I'll fill in his beard at the very end when it's all puffy. So next year, you'll have um, a new one to look at. That'll be kind of a good thing. Okay, uh, let's see. What else do I have? Ooh, I ordered this one. I love this. I fell in love. And I ordered all the floss, so it hasn't come yet. But this is going to be my Valentine stitch. Ooh, let me take it out of here. Uh, it's an Etsy shop. I believe her name is... Miss Prim, cross-stitch design by Rhonda. Oh, I just loved it. I love the flowers. I love the hand. I love, I always love a hand with a heart. Ooh. So this one is Miss Prim. Mm, I can't, I can't remember how much it cost. I'm sorry. It, wa it wasn't very much money, but I ordered all of the correct thread colors because I just, I love the look of it. And I don't know what I'm going to do. I, it sort of makes me think like I should make a little pouch and have some flowers out of it. Or I don't know, like a little zipper pouch with that on it. That might be kind of neat or framed or I have no idea. If you have any ideas, put them below. We could do it together. It's kind of a cool thing. I just, I don't know why I fell in love with it. It's just so pretty. I love the flowers, that little tulip. Oh, I love this. So anyway, once I get my floss, and I think the fabric was a, like a, is it a lamb's wool, like a gray color? 
but I think once I get the, the floss, then I'll uh, choose the fabric, the backing. So anyway, it's kind of a good one. Miss Prim Cross Stitch Designs. There you go. Oh, I didn't even have to take it out of the bag and I did that. <gasps> good gravy. All right, let's see. What do we got? Uh, what am I grateful for? I'm grateful for my KitchenAid mixer for all the cookies and things I've made for the neighbors and um, my cinnamon roll dough and things that I'm going to pass out tonight. That'll be fun. I got these little shot glasses that I fill with uh, frosting and I put them in each of the tins. And so they, I, I frost them a little bit so it looks like the cinnamon rolls, but, um, but then they can put their own if they want to put more on. And so kind of a treat at Christmas time. <laughs> I'm grateful for my bird feeders. There's ice hanging off the bird feeders, but I have them hanging by my kitchen window, which is over there. And I can see the birds um, stopping by to say hi. So I hope they're staying warm because it's in the 20s. So it's kind of crazy. I'm grateful for my red light therapy. Oh, I'm feeling a lot better. Uh, it's a magic. It's a miracle. It's it's not a miracle. It's not. Ma yes, it is a miracle. It's not magic. It really is something. It really does work. And I'm really happy for it. Ooh, I was happy to pour some salt on the sidewalk this morning because it was so icy. And I had to step on the sidewalk to step onto the grass to take Miss Maisie out. So, oh, where's Miss Maisie? I, oh, here's Miss Maisie. I brought this so you could see. May your days be merry and bright. Oh, she's a good girl. She's a really good girl. There you go. I hope you have a really Merry Christmas and Happy Hanukkah. Just hanging out with your family, doing a puzzle, eating snacks, you know, that kind of thing. The fun stuff, the good stuff. I don't know if, if this kind of ice over all the highways, I don't know if we're going to uh, have a Christmas Eve service or something. I'm not sure when this is all going to leave. So anyway, um, I wish you a very Merry Christmas. I'm really to be honest, I'm happy the month is over. It's, it's a lot. It's a lot of pressure. It's a lot of stuff to get everything mailed and wrapped. And I don't know. I don't know why it was so much pressure this year. But anyway, I'm going to end this video and then I'm going to go have a cookie. I'll take the velvet off before I have a powdered sugar cookie because <laughs> that wouldn't be good. That wouldn't be good. Okay. That's all I got. I like, I like you coming here. I like all your comments. It's fun. Ooh, one thing I should, ooh, a little suggestion. If you have a little bit of money left over after Christmas, maybe you could consider your food bank. Um, one of the days that Mr. Wright had off, we got to go to the grocery store. I know they always say they get more with their money, but I think it's better when I go and I actually have to do the math and buy the groceries and fill up those bags. And so I had a certain budget, a certain amount, and then we each got a grocery cart and then he was the calculator man. So he kept track of all the amount and what more I could buy. So I really tried to buy, you know, the things that you needed, the staples that you needed first. And then I, you know, the peanut butter, peanut butter and jelly, you know, all those kinds of things that you can really use beans and rice and, you know, all the good stuff. Um, and then when I, I was getting closer, I, ha I had spent about 80% of the money I was getting closer and I thought, Oh, it would be if, if I didn't have very much money and I had to go to a food bank, I would love it if I could find some hot cocoa or marshmallows for my kids. And so, um, I bought lots of hot cocoa and marshmallows so that it could be a fun thing. And, um, oh, that night when we came home, we had, um, hot cocoa and then we put the marshmallows on and then we torched them with the kitchen torch. And so it was a toasted marshmallows on top of our hot cocoa. The vegan eight hot cocoa is fabulous. Go to the vegan com, and her recipe is amazing and creamy and dreamy. You'll love it. Um, it's made with light coconut oil or coconut milk and, oh, it's, it is dreamy. It's so good. Okay. But, um, then once we got all of our groceries and all bagged and everything, then we went to the food bank and dropped them off and it, my heart just broke. There was a line out the door at the food bank. I'm not making that up. So I was so glad that we 
where we, we drove to the back part where you deliver food and the lady brought out this uh, trolley cart thing and then Mr. Wright took all the bags and put them on there for her. And um, so we got to donate a lot. It was really fun. That made us both super happy. That was like the happiest we were the whole the whole season. Well, except for hearing my grandkids sing in their, their um, Christmas concert. So that was nice too. But anyway, if you have a little extra money, um, could you consider maybe the... the um, food bank. I think they'd really like it. Even if it's just a couple jars of peanut butter, I think it would be a really, it makes your heart feel so good. It makes you feel better than the people getting it. Or, I don't know. They were happy. And then the people that are going to get it are going to be happy too. So it just seems like a win-win. So anyway, I'm, I'm rambling. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. And thank you so much for stopping. I really appreciate it. I appreciate you being here and we'll chat soon. Bye-bye.